Hi again, this is Toby from Toby Urban Sketch. I'm just going to bring you another video today. No no drawing today. We're just going to show you what I sort of carry around with me to do my sketching. Um, if you enjoy my videos, please do hit the, the like and the subscribe buttons because it's a really big support to my channel. Um, and I hope you find this interesting. Um, I certainly always want to know what people I watch or see on Instagram are using. Um, and that's what sort of got me doing this, as well as having a few people ask me what pens you're using or what paper you're using at the moment, that kind of thing. So, I carry pretty much everything around in this unbranded pencil case. I'm going to put links to everything in the description so you can you can see this. It's quite cheap, it's about 10 or 15 pounds I think, and it's about the size of an A5 sketchbook which you can fit inside. If we open it up, it's got a couple of pockets. So in there, I just keep a few brushes. So I've got a, a mop, this one, oops, sorry, this one, a size eight and a size two round brush. And that just gives you enough flexibility that you can do, you know, precise things with these two or really loose and washy things with this one. And they, they're, they're, you know, you can see they're not that well protected if I bring it this way in here. So they're not my nicest brushes, obviously, but they're pretty good brushes. Had them about a year um, and they're, they're plenty good enough to do this kind of loose urban sketching. Just got a, a rubber in here. Um, I'm not sure why it's in there actually, because I don't actually have a pencil in this case. Then it's got this really handy um, compartment, which is designed for pencils, obviously. On this side, I've got, uh, I think, four different brands of fine liner in just different sizes. So I've got these Rotring Tiki Graphic pens. Hopefully you can see there. They're quite nice. They, um, they're slightly less black. They're all, these are all black markers. These are slightly less black than the others, which has a nice effect in itself. I've just got a 0.5, a 0.3. And I've got a Derwent line maker in 0.3. Um, and a Unipin in a 0.5 and then I've got some Winsor Newton fine liners in a 0.1 and a couple of 0.3s. I, I do find they're all a bit different. I can never remember which ones I've damaged more than the others um, and I go through phases of which ones I like more. That's why I've got a sort of range going on here. On the other side, if I flip it over, I've got the same thing going on. This time I've got these Faber-Castell pit pens just in three random different greys so this looks like a cold grey oh here we go cold grey one so very light warm grey five and a cold grey four um, and I've got this white pen I don't use this one very much it's 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 very translucent but sometimes you can have a bit of fun with it these can be good for adding in tone when when the paintings are dry um, or adding in a shadow or something. I don't use them that often at the moment, but again, I go through phases. This is one of my favorite pens. This is the, um, the Pentel gel pen, just a white fine line. It's really good, uh, really quite opaque, so it actually sits well on top of um, watercolor and pen marks and things. So it's, it's one I'm using a lot at the moment. And if we go to the main bit, I've got my current sketchbook which is a, um, a cardi paper, quite a rough and interesting aesthetic. You can see September, I try and do one a month. Um, so that fits in there neatly. You know, the, a moleskin A5 will fit in this fine as well. So this, this pencil case really does fit everything you need to carry around. And then I've got my, my palette in here. I'll come back to that in two seconds. Um, just wanted to show you that I've also got these clips. So I, just, I bought these coloured clips in Asda, which is a sort of cheap British supermarket. I got two big ones and a, a little one here. And these are great for just clipping pages open. You can also, if I just get a paintbrush out, you can pop paintbrushes in. So if you're standing up, they can stand in there. Um, you can put them all round if you've got, if you want to keep a page nice and tight. 
So they're really handy just to have a few of. Normally I just use the one, but um, if I was doing sort of uh, more watercolour, less line work, I might use more than one. Then, palette. This is a really big palette actually. You can see it just fits in. It's by Meaden, which is a brand I think you can only buy on Amazon. Um, but there are loads like it. Um, Jackson's Art is a really good place to get them, for example. It's got a nice thumb hook, so I, I use this one for my um, plain air watercolours as well, because you can hold it. I really like it because it's got so much mixing area and storage area. At the moment, I've just got looks like 14 colours in there, plus white. Um, I keep a water brush in here, so I can just take the palette with me if I want. I also keep a couple of tubes of things I'm playing with, or in this case I've got a uh, buff titanium because it's quite a good thing for a lot of buildings just to add some texture. And I've got a permanent carmine because I'm just ex experimenting with that in potentially as a replacement for this colour. Um, I'll swap the next colour, so I've got 15 colours in here I should say. I will. Um, I can write them all down in the description, but just to run through them, this is a Hansa medium yellow. This is a gold green. This is a cerulean chromium. This is a, a fallow blue. I'm not sure if it's yellow shade or, or not. This is cobalt blue. This is an ultramarine. This is a van dyke brown. I've got a quinacridone gold, a raw sienna. Then this is a Windsor green, scarlet lake, quinacridone magenta. Burnt Umber, Payne's Grey, and a Neutral Tint. Again, I'm, these are, I'm sort of experimenting with which of these I prefer, and at the moment I'm preferring the Neutral Tint, but mostly I've in the past used Payne's Grey. The nice thing about having such a big palette is it does give you flexibility. In the past I've had this completely full, but I found I was barely using any of the colours and I was getting lazy and not mixing things in it. It all gets a bit confusing. So that's everything that fits in here rather neatly. You can see it very easy to just pop everything in, do it up, carry it around. What's missing of course is water. I just carry around a little Tupperware like this, fits in the bottom of my bag. I've got little boxes like this in all my bags really. And I always have just a any old bottle of water. Here's some Vinto I had a couple of weeks ago, which has now turned into a water bottle for the next couple of weeks. Um, just another thing to say about this pencil case is it comes with lots of these things which can Velcro in. So I've got them sort of pre-stocked. These are a few watercolour pencils if I was feeling like using them. Um, I could fit a lot more brushes in if I wanted to, if I was doing some less line and wash and more watercolour. Uh, and so it's, it's really flexible. I was actually um, amazed. I, I went from using an extra satchel, which is a incredible piece of kit, but also very heavy to carry around, to just using this and carrying it around. And it's, it's been a revelation. Anyway, I hope that's been uh, at least a little bit interesting if you got this far. I will put details of everything in there in the description so you can just read if you'd like. And please do feel free to ask any questions. Thanks for watching.